Creator Learn writes, thanks for the tips. Can you make a video on how to drill a hole in a brick wall for a doorbell? Of course, I can do that. So let's get started. Now, if you're going to drill a hole in a brick wall, you really need four things. And that is you need a face mask because, well, a lot of dust is going to be generated. You're going to also want to protect your eyes with safety glasses because debris is going to be flying. Next, you'll need a masonry bit. That's what this is here. And you can't really use a regular drill bit, not for this job. And last, you're going to need either a roto hammer or you're going to need a hammer drill. We're going to be using a hammer drill. So let me just say this before we actually drill through our brick. Let me tell you about the hammer drill here and, and it is this. It's a corded drill. I like using a corded drill when I'm using a hammer drill because it's going to deliver the power that I need to drill through that brick. Now secondly, and I think this is really important, hammer drill doesn't have to cost you a whole lot of money. And face it, if you're a DIYer, it's not the kind of job that you're going to do very often. You can pick up a hammer drill for as little as $30. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to spend a lot of money. And then, of course, with a hammer drill, a lot of times you have an option, either using the hammer drill as a hammer drill solely, and then you can switch off of it and use it as a regular drill. Now, in case you're wondering what makes a hammer drill different than a regular drill, well, it's because two different actions are occurring at the same time. The drill bit is rotating at the same time. It's tapping very, very, very quickly, and hence the name of hammer drill. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole about an inch in depth. So let me mark this here. There we go. That's where we want to stop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flag it. And that's what this little piece of tape is going to do for me. It works as a visual cue. It lets me know when I've reached the proper depth. So this is our brick here. And if you notice, it's very porous. And there are a lot of little craters and dimples for our drill bit to rest in. Now if you have a smooth surface, and in a case like that, you go and you set your drill bit on, and it skirts all over the surface. Well, a way to prevent that is by using a center punch and creating a little dimple. Just giving it a little tap with a hammer, you'll create a little dimple for your drill bit to ride in. Now when you're drilling a hole in brick for a doorbell, just make certain that the bit that you select is the proper diameter for the hole that you need. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.